up, everybody? I have a nice little short stack. And I'm going to share with you guys some of the bargain deals that I picked up throughout the years of collecting. And one thing I like doing in my channel a lot is sharing with you guys what I paid for some of these cards. And um, here's a nice little short stack of some of my favorite cards for a video response. There's a whole lot of cards that I get on the cheap, man. And I like sharing that with you guys, but these are some of my favorites. So, let's take a look. Alright, here's some bargain deals. Small little short stack I'm going to share with you guys. Um, this is a video response from Mr. Reindeer Studios. If you're unfamiliar with his channel, check this out. Bam! I binge watch his channel all the time. He's doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. He's almost there if he's done already. I'm coming close to a thousand myself which is pretty amazing but you know it took about you know a couple years for that to happen i guess my content just isn't that great <laughs> just kidding anyways he wants to know some more bargain deals you know um show off some more bargain deals so i'm gonna share with you guys a little small little short stack i share with you guys uh some of these are pretty recent some of these are really old um i wish i could share with you guys some more but i don't want this to be a 10 minute video so the first one a Preacher Row, a 1954 Bowman, and this is an autograph, and man, I, I couldn't believe that I won this when I bid it on this. This was an auction. I had this in my collection for probably like 10 years now. Um, <laughs> I paid $5. Now, I actually paid like $2 for this, but shipping was 3 so, you know, I just calculated the shipping you know, on top of that, but um, this is a really fascinating card, man, and I love me cards like this you know um i love cards who are just oddball you know somebody at one time cut this little dude out preacher row that little dude preacher row cut him out and decided to get this card autograph um at what point was it cut at what point was this autograph on here who knows man but this is one of my favorite cards in my collection only because it's a one of one <laughs> get it a one of one <laughs> Okay, that wasn't really a joke, but it's literally like a one on one to me. You know, you, you get a lot of these one on one modern cards, but this, this is like totally different, dude. You know, cut out, autograph, a vintage, fifty four. Doesn't get any better than that. This is also an auction. Let me set these to the side. I can't believe I won this one. Also, this was a ten dollar auction. Yep, ten dollars for this Marty Marion autograph. That's a pretty cool deal. Another auction that I shared in a video just recently, a few months ago, a Gaylord Perry, a four, paid 11 bucks for it. Steal of a deal. Oh yeah, just like this one, this Duke Snyder. 12 bucks, man. I was gonna buy this card in a pour for like 30 bucks. And then I just threw a random bid when I saw this one, which is a VG3, which looks pretty stunning. I got it for 12 bucks. This next card is a rookie card from Mr. Mini Manoso. I'll buy it now, $20. <laughs> if we can go back in time and, you know, rewind all these cards that I saw for $20 on Mini Manoso, I would have bought them all, man. His cards now are like $300, especially the 52 tops. But, got this for 20 bucks. 20 buckaroos. This was a buy pre, uh, right before COVID. This was a Mel Ott, a, a 1941 double play. Pick this up for 30 bucks. And these next two cards, they're, they're kind of big names, man. And um, this is why you should always set some money on the side in case you come across a card that you really, really want. Because I came across this bad boy. Now I know what a Satchel Page 49 Bowman rookie card goes for. Okay, I've been looking for them. I just didn't want to pay the four-digit price until this one came along. And this was right before COVID. I'm pretty sure that guy's kicking us off in the ass right now because of that. Right before COVID, I'll buy it now. You know, it was newly listed. And I picked this up for $350. That's why it's very important to keep some money stashed away in case you come, a card, come across cards like that. And my next card, which is the Finale... The same concept with this one. I've been trying to pick up a 1952 Tops Willie Mays rookie card for the longest. Again, I didn't want to pay a four-figure number. And a lot of the four-figure numbers were like in the poorish type of range-ish. 
and I came across this bad boy. This was also a buy it now, newly listed. This was $7.65. And when I saw this, you know, I went poopies in my panties and I pulled the trigger on this. I had to, you know, because I was not going to get a better looking card of a William A's 52 Tops for this price. And this card now is three times as much of what I paid for it. It's really crazy. So here's a quick little showcase uh, for a video response for Mr. Ranger Studios. So hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, I do have a Dodger game today. I know I made a video that, about my last game, but I actually paid for those tickets. The game I'm going tonight, I didn't pay for those tickets. And I'm pretty excited because I'm sitting right behind home plate. Oh yeah, free tickets behind home plate. So you may see me on TV. You may not. I don't know. If I see, if you guys see me on TV, I'll, I'll do a little DX suck it. Suck it on TV. If I'm able to, to. So, quick little video response. I'll catch you guys all on the next one. See you guys all later. Toodles. Cool. Such a page. Looking all mad.